Hello crafters. This is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and boy have I been just oh, dying to do a Saturday morning makes. <laughs> it's been a while I know. Just didn't have the time to do it but now I did put together two quick cards for Saturday morning makes. So let's just go right into it. Let's get started. Okay crafters I made two cards. So Saturday morning makes is with Jill Norwood from Greenwood Girl Cards. And then there is Anna White's hashtag, which is fall into August, which I really wanted to do a whole bunch of projects like this, just the time. So fall into August may actually go into fall into August, really showing in September. <laughs> okay, let's start off with the first one. Fall into August, Halloween, trick or treat, Tim Holtz pumpkin goodness. I made this A2 card, which I like to use this reverse scallop die, and this is Cat Scrappiness reverse scallop die. Let me show it to you. It's an A2 scallop die. So it's a quarter inch short than an A2. So you could do, you could either leave it like this or go the full A2 size, which is four and a quarter, five and a half, like how I did here with the border for the card base out of black 110 pound cardstock. So I used Cat Scrappiness reverse scallop A2 die. That's number one. Then in the background, I love this neutral Halloween. If you're like not the super over the top Halloween crafter like me, but you wanna you know do something like this, this is a good paper because it has the orange in it, the black, the gray, but it's muted. This is the paper pack, Halloween Party by Echo Park. I tell you, Echo Park has been making some fabulous papers this year. There Let you me go. do a quick flip through. Look at that paper. That goes into like fall too, just, you know, outside of Halloween. Super duper cute. Love. I think I've shown you guys this before in a haul video, but just in case you didn't see that video, here is some of the papers in action. So you even here with the spider webs, nice and muted. If you want to go muted. Crazy, muted. <laughs> muted, a little bit not so muted. So this is a nice paper pack for that type of balance. For the crafter who doesn't want to go all the way out, oh, here's some loose sheets that I was playing with as well. Now, let's talk about Tim Holtz and his new Halloween release. All right, so there's this huge video that Tim Holtz did a few weeks back. Maybe I can put a link here. I'm not sure if I can put a link. You can check his YouTube channel. Sometimes people get uh, people ding people for doing stuff, and he doesn't know me. But he did a video on his Halloween release with um, Sizzix. Oh, goodness. This is the Pumpkin Duo Colorize. L-O-V-E. Love this layering pumpkin dye, which comes together so easily for a colorized dye. So if you're into colorized dyes, this is the one that you can just do like a whole bunch at the same time. Let me show you something real quick with this. So let me show you how straightforward this one is, which is so nice for colorized. First, this is the base. So you do the base. And I'm gonna show this gourd looking pumpkin one. Then the next one, the one with the least amount of detail, that would be your next layer all the way up. And then it says B orange one. Let me show See you. that B orange one? It even tells you the color. Next we have B orange two, which has, hopefully my camera is focusing, little more detail. You see it? Then you go into number three, B orange three. So he's even giving you, you just use different shades of orange and in the order that you will assemble it. And then this is the second green detail or whatever color you want to use. So the first one would be here, the base, and then that. This is how easy this colorize is put together. But look at that. So what I did for the top, top, top layer, I went really light just to have like... I guess you would call it highlights on the die cut. And then I even did glossy accent on the top piece. You see it? Oh, you know I was having fun. <laughs> you know, when you see I pull out the glossy accents and just keep going, I was having fun. Then here, these are some matte gold pearls from Pink Fresh Studio. And the trick or treat. Oh, we got to talk about that. There are two die sets from Photoplay that have come out. And... I didn't get it the first time I saw it. I had it in my cart. I was like, ooh, this is so cute. Sold out, restocked, sold out again. It may be in stock now. That's how fast this thing is moving. Super duper cute. So the trick or treat comes from the Halloween word trio. Love. 
L O V E. I got one. spooky boot to you trick or treat. Let me give you the measurement on the trick or treat two inches by mm, one and a half. And here I staggered it. So I did orange on top, black on the bottom, and then kind of just raise the orange a little bit higher so you get a little shadow. I created my own shadow because it doesn't come with the shadow, you know. But what really got me with the set. That spooky with the eyes. <laughs> the boot to you is cute. The trick or treat is cute. But it's the spooky that made me want to get this set. Then the sister to it is the fall one. Autumn Word Trio. Warm hugs. Give thanks. Happy Thanksgiving. Isn't this cute? Oh, let me give you a measurement. See, I haven't even opened it up yet. Let me give you a measurement on the Happy Thanksgiving. That's right here. Two by, let's say a little bit under three. Almost two and three quarter inch wide. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. I tell you, this one, in and out, not a bad price point either. That's a good thing about photo play dies. They don't come in super high, which is nice. These are really nice ones to use for a lot of cards. You could use that warm hugs, this one, for a lot of your coffee projects, pumpkin spice. That's cute. The happy Thanksgiving, of course, for Thanksgiving. You could color these pumpkins a different way. Here, the way I have them done. The only thing that makes them more Halloween, I think, is that shade of green. But I could have changed it up and then have it more into the fall. That's the beauty of this set. And you could do them in different colors, too. You could do a blue pumpkin, pink pumpkin, any color. Love. So we got the trio. And then I framed the whole thing here. All right, crafters, I'm back. I just had to repackage everything because I don't want to lose not one piece. Every piece in this entire set are pieces you want to keep. Eventually, I'm going to... Not sure if I'm gonna lay it out in order on a sheet of paper. I like to do that and then put the die in a sleeve. We'll see. But if you're enjoying what's going on with Tim Holtz, I also got Retro Halloween. I wasn't gonna get it. Then I watched Tim's video, which is about two hours, but it's two hours of good information. This is a two-piece die. So the black is one piece and then the color underneath it is another. So it's super easy. And I think it's just cute. Love the cat, love the ghost. So I got this one. And lastly, I got the 3D embossing folder. Now, the only thing I don't like about the folder is the size. <laughs> I wish it was bigger. You know, I've been loving my oversized spell binders, embossing folders, or at least make this thing. It's like, uh, I think it's four by six. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's not like a true A2. Does it go A2? Maybe it is an A2. Well, it says it's an A6. His folders tend to be like this. I wish he had just gone just a little bit bigger, even as big as a five by seven. I would have been completely like, oh yes, oh yes. But if you don't like small embossing folders, this one may not be it for you, but this skeleton face, he applied different effects to them and changed the colors and everything. Oh, it was really, really nice. So I had to get this one. Skulls. Now, the reason why I'm just showing you what I hauled from Tim Hulse. Tim Hall's Halloween release. It's been a trend. It wasn't a trend before, but it's a trend now. It's like a limited time one. So it's like they do a run and they have X amount and then they sell out and that's it. He also has some mica sprays. I've had that in my cart. I did order it. It's coming. So if you like last year's mica sprays, forget it. <laughs> You'd have to get it from eBay maybe for a lot of money. Same thing with this year's mica sprays. I'll show you a picture they're really nice, really nice colors. I did order that. So the only reason I'm showing you everything is that if you like something, get it before you can't get it. That's what I'm trying to say. So you don't have to go third party like Etsy or eBay and then you pay twice the amount or three times the amount, okay? Just keep that in mind. Love, and if you love this, get it. Not a bad price point either for Colorize. Next card. Love. This is now Jaded Blossom, and Jaded Blossom has a challenge right now, and I need to submit this photograph. <laughs> so as soon as I finish this video, I'm going to take a picture and submit it. So they have a challenge where you can win a stamp set, and they have fabulous stamp sets, all different kind of themes. Great gingerbread ones, Christmas ones, uh, and Halloween ones that I just have all, like the Halloween ones in my wish list. The card layout is like a... Oh gosh, what do they call this? Oh, I can't remember the name. <laughs> it 
It's like a card design. I'll show you the picture here from Jaded Blossom. Can I remember the proper name of this thing? And I've seen people do videos where they follow the recipe, but I can't remember the name of this right now. Don't laugh. Yeah, yeah, you're laughing. I know. So there's a card recipe. This is supposed to be a bow, and then this little square piece, and then your, you know, that look. So this is my interpretation of it. Back to school. School just started here in South Florida. But I wanted to make a cute little teacher card back in school. I just couldn't help it. I think this is so adorable. Okay, crafters, I am back. I had to go get all of my supplies. I don't know how I forgot the supplies for this card. So the paper pack goes between these two. We have Echo Park. I love school. Six by six. Mega pack. Mega pad which is just super duper cute. I had, I was thinking of this, the board, I was thinking of the apples. There is the background with the numbers. It might be just this pack I used actually. Love this. I used this top piece here for right there. It might just be this paper pack actually. Super cute, super duper 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 cute. Then there's another one called first day of school. This is just a regular six by six. Love with the buses and everything. Oh, I still love these apples. These are just so cute. Look at the colors. So I think it's this one I use. I love school. And that's here. And then this is the Jaded Blossom Girl Gnome Dye. Because you have to use at least one Jaded Blossom product. If you have it, this is Girl Gnome Dye. She is, I believe, back in stock. And so is the Boy Gnomes. Then the glasses. There we go. That's from their glasses die set. Love, 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 love. I believe it's this size. Isn't she cute? <laughs> She's just total fun to put together. And then I believe it was the school add-on for that pencil. It has one hand holding, so just the other hand is somewhere in the back. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, yes, here we go. See, I have all my sets in scrapbook.com storage envelopes. I'm telling you, it's the organization that keeps on giving. And I'm realizing now, I did a video the other day for Spellbinders and I was like, okay. Soon as I finished the video and I started editing it, I was like, wait a second. I forgot to mention this. I forgot to mention that. You know why? Because I don't have my dies. I had my dies loose. And now I realize I need to store some of them in sets. Like how I put the Spellbinders paintbrush and the Spellbinders pie sets in a set in a scrapbook.com envelope. Same thing with some of those sentiments. They need to all be together and some of the tags. So there is the pencil with the hand holding. So this is the Gnome Dyes School add-on. And they have a new add-on. Did I get it yet? So there was like the fall one with the pumpkins. There's another one after that for Thanksgiving. I'll put a picture here so you can see. It's in stock. It just... Now the square in the background, cause you have to have like a square, whether a standard square or a scallop square. That one is Waffle Flowers Lacy Square Dies. I love this set. Just love this set. It's the little small one here. It's the pierced detail and the scallop. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. So I pulled it out and made this cute little standing. I think this is like a five and a half. Yeah, five and a half inch square card. And then I put here, this is not even a stamp. This is just one of the words out of this set. Mm, somewhere in one, of, yeah, there it is. School days, you see it? That's where the school days came from. And then I just layered it up. So this is a cute recipe that you could use. I just can't remember the word of what this is when they give you like a layout of how the card should be. You could make this for like a teacher, put Christmas stuff, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas here. You could do, you know, teachers, um, teacher appreciation week, definitely make a bunch of cards. And I just think this is just so cute. The background. This is another Echo Park paper pack. I will put the link for it below then with everything else because I can't remember the name right now, but I know it's an Echo Park paper pack if you're loving this. And that's pink glitter and pink shoes because teachers do wear pink shoes. <laughs> okay. And then here, this is some Pink Fresh Studio gems. And in the background, this is white. Bristol Smooth cardstock with a little bit of saltwater taffy with a blending brush. So it wasn't so stark white. So I gave her like a highlight in the background. I, crafters, it's just been a long week. And it's still going. <laughs> Alrighty crafters, I just wanted to hop on real quick to show you 
Oh gosh, look at my stuff I have here. To show you my Saturday morning makes and my fall into August, okay? I know you guys thought I forgot about Saturday morning makes. No, I have not, and I've been watching Jill's videos. Oh, Jill, Jill, Jill. What you did with that My Creative Time house die, that haunted house die, and turned it into, like, I don't know, shabby chic house, Oh, you just had me salivating. <laughs> so you guys can watch her video. Now her video, I can put a link below for. Oh, it was good. It's good. Alrighty, crafters, until the next video. Stay crafty, my friends. Bye.